Hi, Eric Johnson, and I'm here today with Talvis Love. Talvis is a Senior Vice President and CISO of Cardinal. He's also uh, some other responsibilities in IT there, and uh, he's been at Vanderbilt today as part of a workshop we're running uh, that's sponsored by the National Science Foundation. It's focused on trustworthy health and wellness, and so we've been talking a lot about uh, securing the healthcare supply chain, and it's just great to have you here today, Talvis. Great, thanks. I'm happy to be here. Well, what are some of the threats that, uh, that you worry or think about when you think about the healthcare supply chain? You know, it's, it, it really is a, that's a multi-level question. Um, I'm, it's, I'm often asked, what keeps me up at night? And I say, it's too long for me to tell you, right? So, so many <laughs> things. But really, from a threat perspective, is those emerging threats that we really don't know about. The, the complexity and the dynamicism that we see in a threat environment um, now just, it, it continues to, to grow. So really making sure that we can understand those things as they become um, newer or, or become get into our environment and be able to stop them in their tracks uh, really quickly are, are the things that we, we focus on as an IT or as an information security team. And then the, the, the other threat that, I, that, that really keeps me up at night is, you know, we, we have 50,000 employees and uh, the majority of those employees have hands on keyboards or a lot of those employees have hands on keyboards. So making sure that each one of them um, is equipped with what they need to do their job. Like you have, we have to do our job and deliver the value, but also yeah. equipped with what they need to be able to determine a cyber threat because uh, again, the, the bad guys are being very kind of discriminant by targeting people and, and uh, especially senior level people um, within an organization or people that have elevated privileges, so even IT administrators, for example, uh, to get to harvest their credentials to be able to do the things that they do. So making sure that all of those people are equipped with what they need to be able to do their job, but also uh, that we have the appropriate controls and protections in place uh, from a cyber perspective. And you mentioned this morning about the cloud and all yep. these different cloud providers and how that is yep. kind of pooling threats in some way. What, what did you mean by that? Yeah, the, the cloud, I think, is going to be transformational in how we deliver IT solutions. It, it already has been, quite frankly. It's startups that um, would not have been able to, uh, to, to start in even the last five years have now been able to leverage cloud technology to start a business and, and become a, a hugely successful going concern. So I think it's, it's had huge um, benefits for the startup environment and, and now we're starting to see those same environments, those same uh, benefits for the enterprise environment as well. So kind of on one side of things is hugely beneficial, hugely transformational and enable us, enables us to deliver value really quickly um, back to our, our businesses. The, the other part of it is, uh, as I, you, you said, I mentioned earlier today, it also pools a significant amount of risk in a, a relatively small number of significant vendors, right? Yeah. So those vendors that we, in the top three, right? AWS, Google, and um, Microsoft, they support many of the enterprises, that uh, significant enterprises uh, across multiple industries, including healthcare. And any one of them have become huge harvesting grounds for criminals, sure. right? For the bad guys to go in and be able to harvest across you. There have been countless numbers of um, news reports about S3 buckets being able to, uh, 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 or exposing data through S3 buckets um, by the way that they're set up. And then in the, the bad guys, they just run a script to go through and see the S3 buckets and see what's exposed to the, uh, to the internet and then be able to exploit it. Another exploit that's happening quite significantly now is not just exposing the data, but leveraging the compute resources to do Bitcoin mining. Yes. So yes. What, what, what happens is that when these cloud environments that, um, again, we get in all the benefits, but it's also a one-stop shop for yep. the bad guys to go and quite frankly, fairly easily be able to determine those vulnerabilities that would have been more difficult to do, for yeah. them to determine if it was more spread across or more spread across a number of different companies. And of course, so. Cardinal's a big, big vendor, big piece of the, yes, we are. The, the healthcare supply chain. What kinds of things does Cardinal Health do to yeah. really help secure the supply chain for health? I think the most important thing is really understanding that 
complete value chain across healthcare. Uh, we, we have a unique uh, opportunity and a unique position where we sit in the middle across a number of different uh, players within the, the healthcare um, industry. And what we're able to do is really kind of based upon our demand signals that we're getting from the various components, make sure that we, we understand um, how that product flows through the supply chain um, and also be able to provide backstop to many of our, our customers, particularly on the provider side, uh, if something were to happen to them. So really kind of understanding how uh, throughout the value chain uh, the products uh, go through and, and, and ultimately service uh, patients to deliver healthcare effectively. So uh, today we're at the Owen Graduate School of Management yes. and uh, of course you manage and lead a, a large organization inside of Cardinal. Yes. And so I'd love to have you share a leadership lesson you've learned along the way. You know, one of the biggest leadership lessons that I've, I've learned um, and I've had the benefit of working with a number of really great leaders that uh, demonstrate straight at this trait, but especially at Cardinal Health, I think um, our, our leadership team is fantastic. Um, and, and one of the things that make them fantastic is to really always being humble and understanding really the business that we're in. Uh, we, you'll hear oftentimes um, people throughout Cardinal talk about we're a roll up your sleeve culture. Yeah. And that's throughout the leaders from the top all the way down through the, out the organization, really understanding what the business is, understanding how we as the, uh, the leadership team can help um, everyone uh, deliver value within Cardinal Health. So I think uh, being humble, really understanding your business uh, well, whatever that business is, uh, to help the, your team deliver the capabilities that you're trying to deliver as an organization uh, is, is one leadership lesson that um, that I, I try to do every single day and I think is hugely beneficial. That's great. Yeah. Well, Talisam, thanks so much for spending the day with us. Great, thanks for having me. Yeah, that's good.